everyone. Well, I say everyone, it's probably like two people. But I got asked loads of questions on Instagram the other day and I thought, do you know what? Why not just do a really chilled video with a cup of tea and I can just answer them all. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So for the first question, oh, Eli's just texted me. Okay, so why did you start Instagram? Also, I love your style so much. Thank you. Um, I started Instagram because I literally loved taking pictures. I used to just take pictures of pumpkins or coffees or my dog or my shoes or literally everything I took pictures of. And I loved the fact that you had somewhere on <laughs> What is this? I loved the fact that on Instagram you could just post whatever. Um, and I, I literally did that and it grew into like this massive like what has it grown into? Not this campaign. This um I don't know, it's grown into like this massive platform, that's the word. It's grown into this massive platform where I get to share my outfits and I have so much like support from all you guys. Well, everyone on Instagram, I don't know how many people are on here. But yeah, and that's and I genuinely just loved posting pictures and showing my outfits and stuff and I think that's why I'm still so passionate about it because I do genuinely really love doing it. Things you dread slash worst fear. So my worst fear at the moment is seagulls. Absolutely hate seagulls and you can ask everyone who is around me as soon as I see a seagull like swoop down or even comes close to me I scream and run away. I, I like to do this like little shelter thing where I run like this. Um, I'm not a massive fan of spiders, but I won't, I'm, I would say that I'm more scared of seagulls at the moment. Sometimes I'm scared of the dark. Like, I think everyone is it. Like, you know when you're sleeping and you're really hot and then you put your arm out of the duvet and I'm like, I can't do this, I'm gonna put it back. And my feet will never, ever be out of the duvet. Like, never. What is your dream job? <laughs> my dream job when I was younger used to be a, a catwalk model. I always wanted to be a catwalk model. But I am five foot three, so that is never ever going to happen. Um, but now my dream job would be to do Instagram full time, and I would love to, as well, like open up a dog shelter to help save dogs because I love dogs with all my heart. So I'd love to open up a dog shelter to try and help them out, and then I think further down the line, I would love to have my own cafe. Like I've always wanted my own cafe and I get to make the cakes and decorate it and I just, I would love to do that one day and I think Eli said that he wants to so we might do it together. Are you going to start vlogging more? I want to and I will try, it's just really difficult because I have no balls and sometimes I feel like whatever I'm doing in the day is really boring and no one actually cares. So I need to get over that and then I can start doing it. How many times have you watched Friends? Countless times, I, I've actually lost count. So many times. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Are you planning on getting any more tattoos? <clears throat> um, I would like more tattoos, but I'm not planning on it right now because I need to save money. But yeah, never say never. I will probably get some more in the future. Do you like living in Brighton? I do. I prefer it much more than living in London. I absolutely love living with Eli. And it is, it is a nice area, like some parts are a bit grimy, but you get that everywhere. The only like downside is that I'm not that like close to my family and some friends as well. And that really, really sucks. Like, I, I do miss everyone, but you know, I can still travel down and see them all. Who do, who, who do, who or where do you get your style inspiration? So probably other Instagrammers um, and also Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I go on it like every day. What's your favourite thing on Netflix at the moment? Oh my gosh. Um, friends, I watched um, RuPaul's Drag Race literally within like a few days. I loved that. I um, was obsessed with Jane the Virgin. I was obsessed with Queer Eye. I love really cheesy like romantic films as well. Would you ever make a separate page for your flat interior? Mm, probably not. No. Why don't you change the Balenciaga in your outfits? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't wear my Balenciagas in every outfit. Um, I only have one pair as well, so I can't change them to other pairs. 
and if you ask me why do I wear them so much because they cost so much bloody money so I'm gonna get the wear out of them but I also do love them but I don't wear them in every picture so where are your favorite candles from I don't I I wouldn't have to answer this because I'm living in a flat I'm not allowed to light candles I purely just have them for decoration and I just get any which looks cute I don't really go by the smell which is really bad but I used to love Yankee candles but I don't think I like them anymore I don't know how many tattoos do you have and which one is your fave um, I actually have 10 tattoos and my favourite one at the moment I've got two is I can't see on my phone just sliding down my lap is I really <laughs> this is really awkward I really like this leaf and my cheese plant leaf because I love plants and then these two dates as well these ones are my favourite and I recently got them as well so but I think any tattoo that you recently get will always be your favourite. What do you typically eat in a day? Gosh, that is so mixed. Um, I always have breakfast, whether that be toast or cereal. In the winter, it always be a cup of tea. I did start having smoothies as well for breakfast, but now that it's cold, I don't really feel like having smoothies. Um, lunch is very hit and miss. It depends if I'm at work. If I'm at work, then it's quite like snacky things. Um, but if I'm like in the flat, then me and Eli will like cook a nice big lunch or something. And then for dinner, again, it could be like pasta or you like make something. I'm obsessed with the corn seven fried like bites. They're like, it's basically fake chicken because obviously it's vegetarian, but they taste amazing. So I'm obsessed with them at the moment. How many coffees do you drink a day? Mm, not many. I don't really drink coffee. I'm more of a cup of tea person. Um, and chai latte isn't actually coffee. Who would have known? Who would have known? Who would have known? Where are those dad jeans from? They're lovely. The dad jeans are from Topshop. I will link them below because they are amazing. I'm in a long distance relationship until January and I'm dying of sadness. Any tips? Oh my God, I feel for you. Um, I was crap in a long distance relationship. I just, I hate it. Um, so try and FaceTime every night or communicate loads every single day. Try and like, Figure out and like book dates when you're not gonna see each other because then you have something to like look forward to and count 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 down the days. Do you know what I mean like when I was when me and Eli were doing long distance, I was like right, okay, ten sleeps and then I get to see him, and it did help. And we spoke all the time. Just it's all about communication, I think, and also trust. Do you have a boyfriend? I do. His name is Eli. <laughs> what app slash filter do you use to edit your pictures? So I used to use Aiden which is the filter on the Instagram app for like ages. And then I kind of just went off it. So now I've gone back to using Valencia, which is also on the Instagram app, which is what I used when I first started out. So yeah, I use um, Valencia is the filter. And then if I need to like edit, I use Facetune. So like I whiten the walls, uh, the floor, I smooth out my skin. And then um, Visco, is it Visco? V-S-E-O, if I need to add a grain. Favourite online brand at the moment will always be ASOS. I love ASOS. Summer or autumn fashion? Silly question. Autumn fashion all the way. I hate summer fashion because I have to get my body out and I hate doing that and I hate being hot and sweaty. You mean like with autumn, you get to wear thick coat jumpers and coats and boots and scarves and oh, I just love it. Love it. How's living in Brighton? It's great, thank you, very good. Please tell us what you do with your hair, it's always perfect. Oh my god, right. So I haven't actually done anything with my hair today. I literally just woke up, just chucked some makeup on, put on some joggy bottoms and a baggy jumper, and that was it. But I always go to sleep with my hair wet. I have a shower in the evening, which I know is meant to be really, really bad. But I do that, and then I wake up and it's kind of like this a little bit. Apart from the, normally it's a bit more like, all over the place because I've like if I've had a really heavy sleep and I've moved around loads um, but I will always just I get straighteners and the best way to describe it is oh, I'm currently looking in like the little screen is <laughs> this is gonna be so funny I get my straighteners like this I clamp them and then I twist it around like this and then I go down like that and then I go and then it kind of just like goes into a curl or I do like the kind of the crimple effect where again you get the straighteners and you just go like this. If that makes sense, 
I might do a video on how to do it, I don't know. But yeah, that is literally like what I do with my hair. Where did you get your rings? Okay, so most of my rings are from Monsoon Accessorize, the stunning silver range. They um, are quite cheap as well, and because I have really little fingers, they do extra small, which makes them fit me perfectly. And then also my mum makes silver jewelry, so I've got loads of her rings on as well. That's why I have so many. But like, I had to really squeeze them on over my knuckles, so none of these rings can really come off. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future, but hey ho. How do you edit your pictures? I will probably do a separate video on that because I get quite a lot of questions and I will share it with you guys one day, don't you worry. Can you show us all of your tattoos? Again, I'll probably do a separate video for people that are actually interested. Why are you buying Christmas stuff in September? Because it's nearly Christmas. It's 100 and I can't remember. I know it's like 15 weeks. It's only 15 weeks till Christmas and it's never too early. I've already started listening to Christmas songs. So it's September. As soon as you get out of August, you can start thinking about Christmas. I don't care. I don't care. How did you begin Instagram? Um, purely just posting on it all the time and I use the same filter, so I guess I kind of had like a consistent feed. Um, and yeah, I just posted on it all the time and just kind of grew. How old are you? I am 21, I am 22 in February. Oh no, I've just lost my place. <laughs> I am, yeah, 22 in February the 2nd, which is scary because it means that I'm getting older and I'm actually turning into an adult, which I don't want to do. What is your favourite picture of yourself? Mmm, that's a tough one. Uh, let me have a look. Not to sound vain, but I do have quite a few that I like, but it's not because I think, oh, I'm so beautiful. It's because if I take it out of the picture, I'm like, oh my god, that looks sick. And then I kind of, I get really excited to post it. Um, so I guess this is one of my, I like this one a lot, if you can see. I just really like how um, I had my, my hand shading my face. But yeah, there's a few like ones which I think are really, really cool. But current, that is one of my current favorites at the moment. How did you get Insta famous? It's my dream. I am not Insta famous. No, no, no. Um, I guess I just kind of got more well known because I just was posting every single day, was making sure I replied to comments and yeah. Uh, favorite place you have visited? Probably Barcelona. I love I loved Barcelona so much. It was beautiful. Um, me and Eli have visited Amsterdam before, but I don't think we really did it right. I think we were just a bit too young. We didn't really know like where to go and what to do. And I think we I I know I felt really intimidated to go into like all the cafes or like pubs or wherever if I want to go for a drink. Um, so I'd love to go again and just re-experience it all and I feel like I'd do it better on a second time. Favourite online brand for clothes slash jewellery? Love your style so much. Thank you. Um, for jewellery, I either go on ASOS, Topshop. They're like ones, cheap kind of cheap ones because they tarnish. Um, and then Monsoon Accessorise for sterling silver. I get a lot of um, jewellery as well from Ania Hay, but that's probably it. How do you curl your hair? I've already kind of showed you, but again, I will do another video. Where is your square gold necklace from? So I wear a little gold square necklace um, in my pictures quite a lot. That one is from ASOS. It was like six pounds, but I don't think it's available anymore. Sorry. Where do you always get your fabulous glasses from? Mm, do, you mean, do you mean sunglasses or just normal glasses? Because all my like normal kind of clear glasses are just from ASOS. Um, and then sunglasses will either be Topshop or I've got two from Ray-Ban. Um, that's it, that's all my glasses are from. Can you show us the Topshop squiggle earrings on? I love them and really want to buy. Yes, let me show you a picture of them in now. See, that's them in my ears, if that makes sense. That's them kind of on, <laughs> it was a fly. Do you ever question your confidence to wear certain clothes? Yes all the time. I think my confidence has grown a lot in what I wear. Um, sorry, I just really want a cup of tea. A sip of my cup of tea. 
Oh, I'm talking so much, it's gone warm. I really do, like I have to be like, oh, hey, like does this look all right? He goes, yeah, yeah, or he'll go, no. He's very honest, which is great. Um, but yeah, I always, always question it. Because you know, like, my go-to outfit, which I feel safe in and comfortable, is like just straight leg jeans, a white tee, and like a blazer or a jumper, or, you know. So I am trying to push the boat out. I don't know, I feel a bit self-conscious, but I think it's good to push yourself. How long have you been into fashion? I don't know. I'm not that cheesy person that goes, oh, since I was born. <laughs> since I can remember. Um, I guess I really kind of like properly took an interest when I was in high school. I knew I always kind of liked it when um, when I started going into like the teenage, but when I was going, actually no, that's a lie. Cause I went through like a really like kind of gothic stage and then I went through all the different stages and it wasn't until like high school I kind of found my actual style and yeah I would say through high school what are you going to be your next tattoos I really want to get like a squiggly kind of doodle face somewhere I don't know I don't know where but I really want to get one um how often tea <laughs> I can't even speak how often do you take out for photos um, do you bank your photos what does that mean? Um, how often do I take outfit photos? So, I work three days a week um, in my other job, and then on my days off, I try and shoot with Eli, but he's going back to university soon, so it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to find a time when we can both shoot together. But I do also go to London and meet up with my friend Jamie, and she takes my pictures and I take hers. But it's always, I think, at least. It's always one day a week that I take pictures. Sometimes if we can, we'll really spread it out. It's really like two outfits a day. How to become an influencer? I hate that word. Um, just, just be you, I guess. And post what you want to post. Be genuine, be consistent, be patient, as everyone always says. And yeah. How tall are you? I am five foot three, shorty. <laughs> is Instagram your full time job? No, it's not. I work in my other job, like I said, for three days a week um, as part time, and then I do kind of Instagram on my other days off. I would eventually love to go full time with Instagram, but I just, just a little bit too scared at the moment. Favourite trend of all times? Mmm, it's amazing. No, <laughs> it's a really miserable day outside today. Favorite trend of all times. I really do love the whole like kind of neutral, neutral colors at the moment. I kind of liked the cycling short trend as well. I was very late to jump onto it because I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna wear that. And the more I saw, I was like, oh, it's kind of really cool. And then I just, yeah. How would you describe your style? Oh my god, I really, I don't think I have a style. If that makes sense. Some days I will have like a floral dress on or like a really pretty shirt, but then the next day I'll wear like leather leggings and a baggy rock tee, or I wear dad jeans and you know a t-shirt with a tote bag. It just it's very it's very very mixed my style. It's it's all dependent on how I feel that day. So I don't think I can quite narrow it down to I don't know a specific kind of style. That, that makes sense. I don't even know anymore. And I think that is literally all the questions, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, if you actually did, <laughs> and um, any other video suggestions that you have, let me know, and yeah, thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day, bye!